Hey guys, welcome to my first hobby vlog. Uh, so today I thought I'd show some stuff I'm doing behind the scenes, um, outside of my normal sculpting. And um, yeah, as you can see, I like 40K. So these are some Primaris Marines that I'm doing up in a, um, a metallic color scheme. Um, I've got some ones that I've started over here that have, I'll uh, see if I can, that there we go yeah so i got some that i've started um, using lead belcher spray and then some uh, sepia uh, seraphim sepia shade light brown ink wash and uh, nolan oil and you get that really oily metal tone on them and um, yeah it's really really fun to do and then there's a little bit of highlighting on there as well but it's done in a really fast way and i'm sort of tricking um, the edge highlights and stuff with dry brushing and then just going back and doing like a little bit of line edge on some of the large kind of edges across the the top of the armor like uh, on the around the I suppose whatever that uh, thing above the Aquila is the the face guard and on the back of the backpack there and across the top of the arm and the knees and so on but it just gives the illusion that it's all been line highlighted but it really hasn't it's uh, mostly just dry brushing and so yeah it's really really relaxing to do and you know when you're a sculptor and you're doing a lot of really i guess technical things like with um uh you know figure sculpting um and it can get very uh stressful this is like a nice relaxing pastime to do just to get your mind off it and um yeah, focus on something fun. Uh, not that sculpting isn't fun, but yeah, it's uh, definitely can be work uh, as opposed to, um, you know, a uh, fun thing to do. So yeah, they're all looking pretty good. I did already do a video for this, um, which would have showed these guys before I'd done all this undercoating and stuff, the base coating. But yeah, that footage got uh, kind of wrecked i don't know what happened to it so yeah we're starting off here in the middle of it so yeah um once um yeah after this step it's basically going to be um doing the ink washing and stuff and then the dry brushing so i might be able to show a little bit of that um, before i finish up this vlog maybe tomorrow or the next day getting close to christmas so this isn't going to be a long vlog it's only gonna be a short one um but yeah i'll see if i can show the process of what i do with them and i'll show you some of the finished ones because they look pretty cool um, and basically just doing it in a way that i can use it as any space marine chapter you know um, i can use them as dark angels ultramarines whatever i want um, so there's no insignias on the on the shoulder pads they're like what i call the nameless chapter um, and that's you know a really good i guess efficient way of doing it you know cost effective these things are super expensive and um, when you you know a sculptor as well and that is super expensive as well uh can be yeah, a real costly thing so i keep it nice and cheap and do one army that i can use for everything so yeah and if we uh have a look in the background there there's a little guy sitting quietly we'll bring him up to the foreground here you can have a look another little character i've been working on so this is for my brand blood of gods uh, the characters in the um in the header image of my um my youtube channel uh, are all these guys Let's see if I can get him there we go now he's in focus so you can see he's pretty cool um, I really like this little guy uh, Sinitu I think his name is I can't really remember now I, I made his name a long time ago but it's on the website you can check him out um, he sits on a rock he's sort of a bit golem like I suppose I didn't really mean to do that but he's a little bit like golem uh, he's got more of a monkey kind of monkey sort of cat vibe going on you can't really tell but maybe if i turn him around i did some of that you know i don't know if, if you've ever seen one of those cats that have the hairless cats i don't know what they're called but um yeah they're super super crazy looking on on, on their backsides and have all that wrinkly skin so yeah i've been really enjoying uh, mucking around with this guy and hopefully i'll get him together and painted he's just a prototype um, yeah, so anyway, that's uh, the first part of the vlog, and I'll catch you soon for the next one. 
Hey guys, back again, second part of the hobby vlog. <laughs> All right, so what do we got in front of me? Well, this is um, Aksu, this lady, and uh, oh, she's got a little friend next to her. I thought I'd bring him over just for scale so you can see. But um, yeah, I really like this, uh, this sculpt. It's one of my first that I did for the brand, and she's finally getting a paint job. So at the moment, that's just the first layer of um, the base coat for her skin. She has like a dark tanned kind of skin tone. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy to start painting this one. Um, yeah, she is uh, pretty special for the storyline and uh, like behind the lore, I guess, of, of the brand. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to working on that skin doing all the subsurface scattering uh, colors. Dark skin tones are really hard to do, so I've been practicing it on some others, and um, yeah, getting it right is like really satisfying when you when you nail it, but um, getting it wrong can be, uh, yeah, <laughs> the opposite. Um, but it is definitely one of the more satisfying like skin colors to do, like darker tones. Um, yeah, they're a lot of fun. So yeah, she's going to be pretty cool, I hope. Um, yeah, she's got, I mean, the figure itself is 3D printed. Um, I don't think I mentioned that in the last one about this little guy. Um, yeah, everything I do is sculpted and then 3D printed. And um, the base, though, has been, um, a silicone mold has been made, and then I've cast in resin um, <clears throat> just to make it heavier. So you know, it's not, not as light, so it sits a bit more sturdy on a, on a shelf or whatever. And she's just a prototype as well. Um, hopefully, one day I'll be able to make some, I guess, copies of her. But for now, just a, just a prototype, just to, you know, show it off and show what the brand has and, and what the future is, I guess, for it. Um, so what else do we have going on over here? I'm also 3D printing. Here we go. A... A sculpt that's been done by a sculptor on Patreon. Sorry, I don't know the name of the sculptor, but this is being done for a friend um, who's a member for that, that Patreon page. And um, they're basically like Death Krieg um, inspired Ogrens. So this is just the body. They're pretty cool, like really nice little sculpt. And I think they're 54 mil or so. So they're pretty much in scale for Ogrens. And um, I've done the come with like a little shield yeah, it's in, in focus there haven't taken it off the build material yet but yeah it comes up pretty good and comes with a uh, you know beat stick <laughs> a maul of some sort um, there we go that's in focus yeah it also comes with the other options as well like the, the ripper gun and stuff hey guys sorry i don't know what happened there um i think the camera just ran out of storage or something Anyway, so what was I, where was I up to? Oh, that's right. Um, we were looking at the, uh, this little thingy here, the mall. Yeah, and I think I was saying, um, yeah, that guy comes with um, Ripper Gun and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. So, whoop, get it in focus. And um, yeah, so what else do we have on the go here? Um, yeah, I've got this one over here. So this, we'll do a bit of selfless, shameless something promotion <laughs> uh, here we go so this is my Christmas zombie and um, yeah I uh, sculpted him up and um, he's actually downloadable right now off my website blightergods.net slash store and he's totally free you can download the file and 3d print this guy yourself so yeah I do a ton of 3d printing um, for my own stuff but I've decided to start um, offering uh, some characters and stuff, and this is the first of them. And yeah, he's got a ton of detail in there. There is a video on the channel, um, at least till the end of December. Um, after December, I'll be taking it down, so you've only got till then to pick this guy up. Um, there is also a, uh, you know, support the artist version if you want to throw me five bucks for Christmas, um, but there's no obligation for that. Um, yeah, just download him, paint him up. My Instagram account has like a slightly better photo, I guess, of the, the painting of him. So that's Adrian Ken Art, and you can uh, take a look at that as well if you want. Um, yeah, go to the website, download him, print him, paint him. Um, if you do, um, 
definitely tag me on Instagram because um, I'd love to see the paint jobs that other people do of this guy. Um, he was heaps of fun to paint, you know, and sculpt really. Uh, so yeah, just thought I'd do something nice for Christmas. He comes with a little base, you know. 2020 has been a really, you know, bad year for everyone. And I thought this would just be really something cool, uh, you know, to end out the year. But I'm going to release more little uh, busts and characters and stuff um, into next year. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably about it. I'm going to try maybe to fit a little bonus bit of content in at the end. Ooh, it's out of focus again. Um, hopefully, and just show a little bit of that uh, metal painting process that I do for the, the Primaris Marines. But I'm not sure about that. It's coming close to Christmas, so I might not get time. So if you don't see any bonus material at the end of this, uh, then this is the end of the first hobby vlog for my channel, uh, Adrian Ken Art. Yeah, so uh, videoing is tough. <laughs> this is not the first time that I've recorded this. So yeah, anyway, if anyone's watching this, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a good New Year. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll catch you in the future. Okay, see you later, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. Some bonus content. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time, but I will just thought I'd show you um, how the metal goes, you know, getting that metal. So, um, yeah, once you've done your lead belcher base coat with the spray, um, we come to this, which I don't even know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see. So this has been then uh, brown ink and black ink washed. The brown ink goes on first. Um, and that's that sepia shade, which is this, okay? And you just do it really watered down. Uh, don't use it straight from the pot, you know, a couple of drops of water in, in with it. And you'll get this like light brown staining. Um, you don't use like Ag Agrax earth shade or something dark because it won't show up. So you use this lighter color and um, that'll give you that like sort of, see that sort of subtle, Let's see if I can get that to, yeah, there we go. Um, you can see that sort of brownish color and you just put that over the whole thing pretty much and then uh, when that's dry or almost dry even if there's a few wet spots it's okay then you do your um, null oil you know this thing here and then you'll get um, that's for all of the shadowing and stuff in, in the crevices and the cracks in between the armor plates and stuff and so you'll end up with um, what you see here that blacky brown wash and then this has then been um, dry brushed with a sort of more directional brush so not sort of a big scuffy brush you want something so this is like a here we go like a nice directional synthetic brush something like that and the reason why you want that is because um, it allows you to really um, be specific about where you're going to dry brush because what you're trying to do is um, hit the edges of the model and uh, simulate that line edge highlight um, rather than um, a huge big brush that would just cover it all uh, you're not really trying to do that you're just trying to hit the edges and you can see there it already looks like it's sort of got line edge highlights on it like on the on the leg there and yeah it's really really fast and easy and you'll end up with that and you could just stop that right there if you wanted to um, and wait the silver is this one here yeah the rune fang steel so that's what I used so um, yeah you just do that in a really directional way and you'll end up with um, a really nice um, metal and then if you want to go to the next step you grab that rune steel and you uh, then get your little fine detail brush and you start like lining in like on just on the top areas uh, and along like you know anything anything large that's across the top where the light's going to hit it just put a couple of lines in it doesn't have to be everywhere um, just the main big panels and it'll just increase that look um, and you'll end up with something that looks a little bit finer um, and then you're ready to do all your secondary colors so that's the trick with doing um, you know metallic color schemes is that you want um, some non-metallic secondaries so that's why I chose instead of doing 
like a gold for the aquilas and stuff like that I chose to do a bone you want like something that's going to have a little bit of um, I don't know a little bit extra work put in and you can spend that time on those areas because you've it's gone so fast on the armor so you don't have to um, go as fast on those and you'll still get these done very quickly but it'll it'll make the whole thing feel more painted or you know more detailed than it actually is and the time that it's taken you and so I've chosen like a, a bone and then with the black um, I've hit it with a uh, contrast paint this uh, this one here and it actually comes out more blue than green so that's really cool and so then I've used that same idea all the lenses and all of the um, the power weapons and stuff all have that green blue kind of uh, color as well and that completes it and so you end up with these really cool here's one of the base guys here and that's kind of the thing you end up with that so yeah just a little quick one there just to um, show you what happens when you, when it's all done um, whoop, put that in focus and uh, yeah have a great Christmas guys and I'll catch you on the next one